Yo guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'll show you exactly how I just made my first million online with my clothing brand. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. It took me four years to get here. So in this video, I'll teach you my six step process of how you can do it faster than me. And let me clarify something real quick. You don't need a lot of money to start a clothing brand. I started with only 100 euros and 15 t-shirts. And then I sold those t-shirts and then I went on and reinvested all my money and grew my brand from there. So you don't need a lot of money to start, but what you need is knowledge about what you're doing. And that's what I'm gonna give you today. I started my clothing brand Buchan four years ago. I was 16 years old at the time, didn't know what I was doing. I just loved streetwear and clothing and stuff. So I decided to make my own and then it went really well and just I kept going, I kept reinvesting the money. I learned a lot of lessons along the way and made a lot of mistakes along the way. So in this video, I've made a simple six step process for you to follow to make a successful clothing brand. And at the end, I have something really, really special to announce that I've worked on for months. So guys, stay tuned until the end and let's get into the first step. The first step in creating a successful clothing brand is truly what separates the great brands from the mediocre brands in the long term. It's truly the foundation of everything else you're gonna do in your clothing brand. So pay attention. It's brand identity. Your brand identity is a combination of three things. First of all, your brand name. Of course, your name is your bread and butter of your entire clothing brand. If your name sucks, your entire brand probably will suck as well. So make sure to choose a good name. I had the luck that my last name is Buchan. Buchan is a pretty short name, it's memorable, it's not too crazy. So this was a perfect name for a brand. But of course, not every brand should be a name. For example, Nike is of course not a name. It's simple, it's snappy, it sounds good. Just make sure your brand name sounds good. That's the most important thing. And don't make it too generic, but also don't make it too complex. Because people need to remember your name. If people can't remember it, then your brand probably won't grow. Choosing an actual name, something that suits you personally, will probably in the long term work really well. For example, Tommy Hilfiger, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, all those brands are actually names of people. So that's why I chose Buchan, it's my last name. And if you can do that too, it's probably the best shot you got. So guys, really think about your brand name because that's the foundation of everything you're gonna do in your clothing brand. Just really brainstorm about it. Don't ask AI for brand names because they pretty much always suck. So guys, just really have a great think about it. Do something personal to you and then you can have a great, amazing brand name. Second of all is creating a logo. A logo should be recognizable. It should symbolize your entire brand in just one simple image or one simple uh, font or something. For example, Nike, it symbolizes movement. It's so clean and elegant and people over the world recognize it. And if they see it, they immediately think of sports and it just is an amazing logo. For example, Apple, it symbolizes minimalism and also luxury. So if done right, logos can truly elevate your clothing brand to the next level. And then once your clothing brand is already pretty big, you can just put a simple logo on a t-shirt or on a hoodie and it's gonna sell 10 times more than the blank hoodie. So this is really what you want in the long term. For example, a Supreme hoodie with a box logo is worth like a thousand euros, while a normal gray hoodie is worth like 20. So this is really the power of brand and having a great logo. Go. The second step in creating a successful brand is designing. You can't have a good clothing brand without good designs. There are actually two ways you can make great designs for your clothing brand. First of all, you can learn it yourself. I personally learned all my design skills just by watching YouTube tutorials like this one. So it is possible guys. And then you can just go on Photoshop on Illustrator and just to try and just experiment, just look at the platforms, just try stuff, you know? And I know if you open up Photoshop for the first time, it truly looks like craziness. It looks like a cockpit of like an airplane or something. It looks crazy, but you can learn it real quick. You can learn the basics real quick. And the good news is you don't need to know everything about Photoshop to start working with Photoshop. You just need to know the basics about making a design. And those are learned really, really quickly. There are a bunch of tutorials online, so I won't go too deeply on this, but this is a really easy way to just learn everything yourself. 
And when I started my clothing brand in high school, I had a free Photoshop account included in my like program. So you probably have something similar or have like a pretty cheap like Photoshop account. So guys, just invest the money. Having a Photoshop account is really crucial and can really help you in the long term. And if you really don't want to spend it, you can just search up Photoshop alternatives. There are a bunch out there. So good luck with designing. The second way you can make great designs is by just paying someone else to do it. For example, this website Fiverr has a bunch of graphic designers on there. And if you really dive deep into it, you can probably find a great one for you. So you can just pay them, they make a design for you and then bam, you can have great, amazing designs for your clothing brand. And you can also go on Instagram. There are a bunch of graphic designers there as well. Just have a look around, just look at what other brands use and just message them and ask them what you want. But from my personal experience, I truly recommend you learn some design skills yourself so you're not dependent on other people to make designs for you. The next step in creating a successful clothing brand is something I get asked literally every single day. And it is finding great manufacturers. How to find good manufacturers for your clothing brand. And actually it's easier than it sounds. There are three main ways of manufacturing. First of all, you can go local. Just search up local screen printer in my area and you'll probably find some good ones. That's how I started and that's really how I recommend everyone starting out. Because it's easy, you have control over everything, you can go talk to the people, they can't really scam you. So this is really one of the best ways to start, especially if you're on a low budget. For example, I started with only 100 euros and then with my local screen printer I made 15 t-shirts and then just kept reinvesting and made new hoodies with them and then just kept working with them for like one or two years. It was really amazing, but then my brand started to grow and I needed other products and stuff, for example shoes and of course you can just make them locally so then I decided to go international so the second way of manufacturing is in Europe actually funny enough when this video goes online I'm in Portugal visiting my factory so how do you find a local Portugal manufacturer actually that's pretty hard to do I just got mine through a friend uh, and that's actually pretty much the only way to do it just really like refer to friends or ask other brand owners their manufacturers because if you just search up on Google Portuguese manufacturer you won't really find good ones you will only find like agencies and agents and stuff and those are always too expensive so don't do it and the problem with Portugal is that most of the time you have to like at least make like 300 hoodies of each colorway which of course as a starting brand is not possible possible but I found an amazing one and you can start with only 50 hoodies or 50 t-shirts which is crazy almost none of the Portugal manufacturers do that and I know I've been teasing the manufacturer list for a long time now and guys good news I finally finished the manufacturing list at the end of this video I'll show you exactly how to get my manufacturer list I've worked on it for a few months now and also a few years to collect all the best manufacturers that I've personally used my personal Portugal manufacturers in it my shoe manufacturers in it so guys if you don't want to miss it out stay tuned until the end of this video because I really want to bless you guys I've wasted a lot of money and a lot of time on samples on bad manufacturers and I want to spare you all the drama so guys stay tuned until the end and the third way of manufacturing is with a simple app called Alibaba. It's truly revolutionary. I read this book, Shoe Dog. It's about the story of how Nike was founded. And you can see that the founder, Phil Knight, went to Asia by airplane. He went to China, to Japan, to Taiwan and everywhere to just look for good manufacturers for the Nike shoes. And then he just sent them letters to stay in contact, which is truly crazy to think about. And he had to wait on responses like two months or something which is truly insane. And now you can just literally chat with your manufacturers through the phone and have instant contact and can order stuff instantly. It's, it's truly crazy the times that we live in. So guys, make use of it, use Alibaba. It's truly a crazy app. I only discovered it about two years ago, but if I discovered it earlier, I would have made crazier stuff from the beginning. So guys, Alibaba is crazy. And don't get it mixed up. AliExpress and Alibaba are two very separate things. AliExpress is for cheap like dropshipping products and stuff. And Alibaba is for making your own stuff. So you can make pretty much anything you want, any quality you want. You can make, of course, really cheap and bad stuff, but you can also just make like really high quality luxury items and stuff like rings, like silver and gold rings. You can make anything you want. So guys, really have a look around, just see, and also always check other manufacturers and just check their credibility if they're verified and stuff. But of course, that's uh, for another video. Then once you've created a great product and you found a great manufacturer, it's time 
to build a great website. And I think the best website builder overall is Shopify. This is not sponsored by the way, but Shopify, if you're listening, please sponsor me because I really love your services. I've been using Shopify for the past two years now and I can personally guarantee you that the experience was amazing. If you don't know Shopify yet, it's basically just a drag and drop website builder. You can just drag um, blocks everywhere, just make products here, just put a button there and just customize your entire website. It's very clean, it's very elegant and a checkout page is truly the best one of them all. People People recognize the checkout page, people trust it, and big brands like Gymshark, like Supreme, like Nude Project, Vicinity, all the brands use Shopify. So guys, don't hesitate, Shopify just is the best one. And lucky for you, I have a link down in my description, and if you click it, you have three months Shopify for only one euro. So guys, Shopify is just the best one, just, just go with it, it's really amazing. But something I need to tell you is that you don't need a website from the beginning, to be honest, because when I started my clothing brand, websites were more expensive, and I just started with Instagram DMs, which is of course okay, but if you're growing a little bit, it's better to have a website people will trust it more it just looks better and you don't have to like answer everybody every time you can just let it run by itself passive income baby so then after my instagram dms i went to wordpress and woocommerce and the experience there was truly horrible it was cheap yeah but i just had to spend so much time just by installing all these plugins and it just was like one big mess also the payment processes were really hard to set up while shopify is almost always automatic and one tip i want to give you guys is just keep it simple a simple website always just works better than having like cluttered like timers everywhere and there's sale here and crazy colors there no just keep it simple make sure your product pictures look good look at my website look at your favorite brand's website for example they're probably all just really really simple websites because those just work the best so guys i wish you the best of luck and don't forget to click my link if you want to start working with shopify all right now the fifth step is truly what separates the big and successful clothing brands from the ones that say small and it's also my favorite step it is the marketing now if you think about marketing what do you think about you probably think about like paid ads like billboards like tv commercials all those crazy things but in this day of age, marketing can be much simpler than that. These days, the best types of marketing you can do are pretty much always free marketing, which is crazy. Because like 20 years ago, it was impossible to do marketing without spending at least thousands of euros a month. And now you can do it all for free. Why? Because of social media. How? By just creating viral organic content. That's the way my brand grew so big, we didn't spend any money on ads whatsoever and we generated 1 million euros, so it's really possible to do so. Now we are gonna spend money on ads because we just wanna scale even bigger and go international and create like 10 million, 100 million or something. Um, but my first million was made by not spending any ads whatsoever, which is crazy and shows that you don't have to spend money at all and guys people always try to overcomplicate it they say you need to use these hashtags you need to use this sound you need to do this trend but let me be honest with you it doesn't matter at all you just need to create great content and then people will share it people will follow it people will like it just create content you would watch yourself and content that your dream customer would watch if your customer is like a football fan of course just make football content if your customer loves like rap music use rap sounds just make stuff you would want to watch yourself and don't pay too much attention to all the hashtags and all these types of stuff of course follow trends because trends always work well if a sound is popping off just hop on it and make your own version of the trend this always works especially on tiktok but just use social media to your advantage just use instagram tiktok and youtube and maybe like facebook and stuff to your advantage start posting stuff and start going viral then of course you can also do crazy stuff for example i made shoes for one euro as a marketing stunt last year you can also work with influencers you can do paid ads you can do partnerships collabs pop-ups there are a bunch of different stuff you can do as marketing you can go as crazy as you want actually that's why i love marketing so much it's just so creative and crazy and you can do crazy stuff with it but the two essentials i can recommend to anyone is create content and do email marketing email marketing sounds boring but some of the biggest brands get half their revenue just from emails alone which is truly crazy if you think about it so this opened my mind and now i really respect email as one of the best marketing tools out there 
And guys, I really want to give you one last tip in marketing, and it is just stick with it. Just pick one of the marketing tools. If you really want to go with influencers, just do it. Just only work with influencers, but just stick with it, go crazy with it, and just send a lot of influencers your stuff, work with the biggest influencers, just send messages to everyone, and just go for it. That's the number one tip I can give you guys. Don't try everything a little bit, just choose one or two main ones and just go all in on those. All right, after doing some great marketing, your product sold out. Congrats. But now your customers also need to get your products. So this is where the sixth step of your clothing brand process comes in. Logistics. Logistics is pretty much just shipping your stuff out to the customers. It's really not too difficult, but it has to be done right. Because if people have to wait too long, they're gonna get mad and gonna ask for refunds and your brand image will plummet. So just ship it out in time. Just make sure your customers have it like within one or two weeks um, and just use poly mailer bags or shipping boxes linked down below as well. It's pretty easy, don't complicate it. And as a shipping provider, just use the cheapest shipping option in your neighborhood. For example, in my country, it's B-Post. So you can just use B-Post or use DPD or PostNL or there are a bunch of different shipping options. The number one tip is that you need to save on costs because of course, if it's only two euros more, but you have a hundred orders or a thousand orders it's already 200 to 2000 euros more just by shipping it out so just use a cheap shipping option but of course also a good one so not everything gets lost but just use your local shipping carrier and also if you ship internationally you need a customs declaration form i didn't have it at the beginning and i had a lot of problems with it so always include that and it would be really nice to include some like stickers or thank you cards in your customer's order so they really feel like a good connection with your brand. All the extras are always nice. Just think about what you would love yourself. If you like thank you cards, just have some thank you cards in there. It's really nice to have like some extras in there. And just ship it out, pack it in nicely in like a plastic bag or something. Just make it a nice shopping and unpacking experience. All right, at the beginning of this video, I told you I had something crazy to announce. So guys, here we go. I've been working on it for the past few months already and I've brainstormed countless of hours exactly what I want in it and what I want to be part of it. Because one of the hardest parts about being a brand owner is just that it's lonely. There are not a lot of brand owners out there and they're mostly spread across the world. So I'm really glad to announce that I've built a brand owners community. A place where brand owners can connect with each other, share valuable information, share tips and tricks motivate each other to build million dollar businesses like mine but not only is it the brand owners community it's also a step-by-step -step guide of exactly how to build a successful clothing brand much more detailed than all my youtube videos combined i've spent the last months just recording pretty much every day to make these videos as best as i possibly can just gathering all the information all the knowledge about how to start a clothing brand in a simple step-by-step -step video classroom everything combined into one place so you don't have to look like in 20 different youtube channels and ask ChatGPT and dive into like uh, reddit forums and stuff it's just all in one place what's more monthly q a calls with me and with other successful brand owners to get personal expert advice to you guys i really want to help everyone out but just answering the m's is not really productive at all so this way i can help you guys as much as possible because my slogan is ideas turned into physical form and i really want you guys to turn your ideas into physical form as well but I'm not done yet. There are a bunch of resources included as well. For example, the mock-up and tech packs. Here are a few examples. There are hundreds of clothing pieces you can use to put your design on, to make cool mock-ups to show to your community, to show to your fans, to show to your audience. And there are also a bunch of tech packs you can use to send to your manufacturers to make sure they create the perfect clothing pieces for you. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I've included my best manufacturers for my shoes, for my t-shirts for my hoodies for my portugal manufacturer everyone i've included my rings even just everyone i really want to give you guys as much value as possible because i really wanted this when i was just starting out when i was 16 years old when i was just starting my brand i didn't know anything so this really would have helped me so so much in the beginning 
Guys, I've worked so, so hard to make this as valuable as possible for you. It's all hosted on a platform called School, and one of my business idols called Alex Hermosi just became the biggest investor in school, which really gives me hope that school is gonna be one of the biggest platforms for online education in the coming years, which is truly amazing. And I call the school community that I've built Brand Academy. Yes sir guys, I'm very, very excited for what's coming. In there I share exactly the step-by-step -step process of how I made my first million with my clothing brand and you can join for only 49 euros a month. Or in this period only 24 euros a month in the first three days of launch. And what's more, you can win this Brand Academy X Buchan t-shirt. I've made 10 of them and I'm giving 10 away to the first people that are joining. So guys, don't hesitate, just join now. If you thought about starting a clothing brand, this is just the perfect chance for you. Just click the first link in the bio and I'll see you in Brand Academy. Turn your ideas into physical form. All the love, bye bye.